there is enough anecdotal and a lot of um, empirical evidence that it can be an excellent medicine. The only limitation is that enough experimental work and clinical trials have not yet been done. But there's enough uh, subjective information out there to show that the plant itself is a miracle plant as far as I'm concerned because there is no other plant in the world that has demonstrated the potential and the evidence of efficacy and safety. Nobody has ever died of an overdose of anything to do with cannabis. So when you take um, safety and efficacy into consideration, then for me, it is a major plant, medicinal plant, and at the same time, the medicines just have to be developed and uh, you know, undergo some more clinical trials so that there's a confidence that we are really there with a, a miraculous plant and amazing products from the plant. Oh, there's quite a bit of research, but you know, um, to be honest with you, there's a prejudice about cannabis. And it is going to take twice as much effort to satisfy everybody that it's there. But, um, for example, it, is, it has been established beyond a doubt that cannabis has demonstrated its efficacy and safety for pain management. There is no other plant which has done this, except, of course, you know, uh, aspirin came from a plant. Mm -hmm. And, well, there are others which have uh, been demonstrated, such as our own periwinkle in Jamaica. So there are a few plants that have done, shown efficacy and safety and have been uh, have produced drugs. However, there is no other plant in the world that has um, shown the potential and some actual evidence of being good as a medicine. Well, there's a lot of experimental evidence now that cannabis could be used to wean people from the um, opioids and at the same time be a substitute. So instead of going there from the beginning, mm -hmm. you could use this and uh, get the same type of um, benefits that you would using the opioids. <laughs> you know, if, if I use a term most people use, it's good for everything. <laughs> but we know there is no universal medicine. And, um, you know, there are going to be some areas that where, where it has been demonstrated to be very efficacious. Now, it, I'm, I'm not trying to show off about what we have done in Jamaica, but Jamaica is a little country of roughly three million people. We are right up there with Israel and a lot of the leading countries doing research on cannabis. And we have demonstrated uh, about um, the efficacy uh, as a pain medicine. In fact, we are going into uh, a major clinical trial in another few weeks in Jamaica um, for palliative care. Now, this is something new. We are breaking ground on this, and we are going to demonstrate to the world that, and just in case uh, the word palliative isn't clear to the audience, uh, we're talking about um, end of life, where people just want something to see them through. What has been going on is that many persons who are near end of life have been using the opioids, and they are virtual zombies because of the heavy uh, sedation and other things that come from the opioids. So what we want to demonstrate is that cannabis can be a safe and useful end-of-life product. And, you know, cancer is getting worse and worse, and many persons are dying uh, when they are getting to old age for, from a number of different maladies which are painful, for one, and 
which creates the sort of problem that demands the opioids. So we could be at the cutting edge of something new that will benefit the world. Just recently, we, we got a patent. Uh, I must say here, again, not boasting, but I'm just showing you what we have done. Um, myself and a team from Jamaica were the first, and this is going back to the 1970s, we demonstrated or produced the first um, commercial product ever from cannabis. So Jamaica has that reputation mm -hmm. about being good and useful insofar as cannabis is concerned. Since then, we produced a second generation product, which the first generation was an eye drop called Canisol. We have now developed a second generation product, which the Ministry of Health in Jamaica approved, and this has positive implications for its sale and distribution later on globally. And this is now a sublingual drop. So instead of putting the eye drop in, as you know, you lose roughly 80% of any eye drop you use. Yes. We develop this now more efficacious and in fact useful product, which is a sublingual. So you put two drops either side of your tongue and it gives you the same efficacy as the eye drop. In, on the 7th of May, we just got a new patent from the US Patent Office, which is for the treatment of glaucoma and also myopia, mm -hmm. short-sightedness. Yes. Now, 80% of the world's population suffers at some time from myopia, and it's glasses and so on. Now, when our drug is produced from this, it's in developmental stage now, I don't think the opticians are gonna like that <laughs> because a lot of their business will go. But what is even more important is that um, Myopia leads to glaucoma, and glaucoma generally leads to blindness. So it has all these implications. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, on the other side with cancer, which you raised earlier, we're now working with Harvard University to um, develop a cutting edge medical technology. It is called the drone technology. Now the drone technology was developed by Harvard. What it does is to you load on your drug, which we had developed, and it goes exactly to the, um, the, the cancer, the tumor, and knocks it out. That's cutting edge, te edge technology. And the beauty about this is no side effects because it's targeted straight to the, to the cancer. And we are looking at pancreatic cancer as the first big success story and there's no cure, no cure for pancreatic cancer at this time. Mm. Not even um, good yes. treatment. So, you know, as I said before, and I go back to say, we are doing a lot of outstanding things, if I may say that, which will certainly put Jamaica in the forefront of um, research, development, and breakthrough scientific technology. We are also looking for um, investors who would like to come on board with us because drug research and development is not cheap. And we are looking for partners and collaborators as we go forward.